My name is Tapori, and my what led me to Christ was a tra very traumatic childhood, and which led to a traumatic life. Um, my stepdad lived with us for about for seven years of my life. Told me that I was worthless; nobody would ever love me because my own father didn't love me. So, once you hear that enough times, you believe it. So teenage years were hard, one bad decision after another. I actually didn't, until a couple of weeks ago, um, when I started, I actually went to one of Trevor's community groups and was walking through the hallway up here, uh, second floor, and realized that as a teenager, I used to stay in the Grand when it was a hotel. And I did things that I'm not proud of in this hotel and it's weird to see that it's not full of drugs and chaos and horrible negativity like it was 20 years ago when I was sleeping here on a nightly basis. One of the things that kind of disrupted my traumatic path um, at 21 I was arrested and I had my son taken from me and he was a three-month-old baby and through fighting through to get him back, I actually met Wendy Bruton. And Wendy actually helped me realize that I was worth something and that I didn't have to. I didn't have to keep being a nobody. And so I wanted to I want to thank Wendy because of because of the things she told me when I was 21. She helped me want to be a better parent for my son. In August of this year, um, I had gotten into a relationship which was primarily based on drugs. And once that was just spiraling out of control, I mean, I was selling, I was selling jewelry and I was selling uh, electronics, anything I could because I needed drugs and he needed drugs. And so, when I got a phone call from my 14 year old son saying, mom, he's robbing us. You need to come home. So I left work and uh, rushed home and he was gone and about half a lot of stuff was. My rent check bounced in August and I had gotten a a 72 hour eviction notice. And I didn't know how I was gonna pay rent and I just cried. I found this out while I was at my desk at work when I got the voicemail from my manager and just begged for help. And within 24 hours, I had $1,000 to pay rent. And uh, it was that moment August 13th, I literally sat in my living room and I said, I, I'm yours, God, if you save my apartment. And then he did within hours. He told us, I surrender to you. You can have me. I am done of living this life of sin and this trauma. And I just cried and just gave myself to him. That's the moment, August 13th, 2015, is when I committed myself. I just, and then a couple days later, I was in church, right back in Oasis. I found my home, I guess I should put it that way. My sister, Salea, and my brother-in-law, Rodney, they never gave up on me. For a year, I was depressed, and I was on drugs, and I was contemplating suicide because I didn't know how to get out. They wouldn't let go. They didn't give up and little by little, I mean, any, I found my way back and I can't, I, I can't even express my gratitude for the people. They have done so much for me. Like I don't, I don't even, I can't even put my story in two minutes.